On the 18th of February 1915, Germany initiated a policy of unrestricted submarine warfare during the First World War. Welcome to History Pod. Prior to the introduction of unrestricted submarine warfare, submarines adhered to cruiser rules, which required them to surface and provide warnings to merchant and passenger ships before launching an attack. However, faced with the British naval blockade and desperate to cut off vital supplies to the Allied forces, Germany opted for a more aggressive approach. On February 4th, 1915, Admiral Hugo von Pohl of the German High Seas Fleet warned that every enemy merchant vessel in British waters would be targeted and that it may not always be possible to prevent attacks on enemy ships from harming neutral ships. This shift in naval tactics was a response to the increasing effectiveness of the British blockade against Germany. This was impacting Germany's ability to sustain its own war effort, and so by targeting merchant ships, including those of neutral nations heading to Britain, Germany aimed to undermine the economic foundations of the Allied powers in return. The decision, however, had severe consequences. The sinking of civilian vessels, such as the ocean liner RMS Lusitania on May 7, 1915, with a loss of nearly 1,200 lives, that included 128 Americans, intensified global outrage. Facing the risk of drawing neutral nations into the war, unrestricted submarine warfare was essentially abandoned on the 1st of September. However, facing an increasingly desperate situation, on the 31st of January the next year, Kaiser Wilhelm signed an order for unrestricted warfare to resume the following day. President Wilson of the USA subsequently severed all diplomatic relations with Germany and the US Congress declared war on the 6th of April 1917.